Hey everyone, Nigel Land Tutorials here, coming at you with another awesome tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make realistic, fiery text. This is what the final product is going to look like, so let's get started. You go to File, New. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to do Flame. Set the width to 1500 and the height to 800 pixels. The resolution you can keep at 72. And the background contents, we're going to change to white for this effect. Then press OK. And since the background is white, you can just press Control i to invert the colors and make the background black. And you can create a new layer and grab your text tool. And I want my text to be white, so you can just press this curved double arrow right here to switch your colors around and make sure white is on top. So you can click anywhere on the canvas and type your word. I'm using Impact as my font and as my font size I'm using 410 pixels. In the center of your text you can press Control A and that'll select the whole document and grab your move tool and up here at the top press your line vertical and horizontal centers this one and that one and that'll get it perfectly centered and you can just press Control D to deselect everything and now we want each letter on its own layer and to do this right click on your text layer and go up to rasterize type and you can press alt and scroll to zoom in a little bit and then grab the rectangle marquee tool and you can simply select each letter and then press control shift j and that'll cut the letter from its text layer and paste it onto a new layer as you can see if we hide this only the f is on that layer and the rest is still on the other layer and you should do this for each letter Control shift j and something I want to point out really fast since we already cut this letter out it's not even there so if you get that in your selection a little bit that'll be alright and the last letter is already on its own layer so we don't even need to cut it let's zoom out and rename each layer the letter it is. And then we can run through really fast and hide each layer to make sure that each letter is in fact on its own layer. And yes it is. So then we can move on to the next step. Now before we add fire to our text, we first need to set up the text. So you double click on your first letter to bring up the layer style to bring up the layer style window and the first effect we're going to want to add is a drop shadow so click on that and change the blend mode to normal the color you can double click on the color box right here and that will bring up a new color box and down here where it has the hashtag and all the zeros you can type in whatever color you want this color is going to be FF18 one eight. Now it's gonna be a red. Press OK. The opacity set to eighty one percent. The distance keep it five. The spread change to thirty five. And the size put to twenty. And the next thing we're gonna add is an inner glow. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Where is that? Here it is. And you can click on your color box right here to change the glow color to FFB900. And it's going to be a yellow. Click OK. The technique down here at the bottom, keep that at softer. The choke, set to 22%. And the size, set that to 8 pixels. And then after that, add a satin. Keep the blend mode and multiply. Change the color to 5.8.2.900. That's going to be a brown. Press OK. Change the angle to 19 degrees if yours isn't. 
change the distance to 17 pixels and the size to 73 pixels. And the last effect we're going to add is a color overlay. I'm going to change the color to CC6600. It has to be a muddish orange color. And click OK. And click OK. Now that you have that effect done to the, your first letter, you simply right click on the FX over here and go to Copy Layer Styles. Uh, you can hide this if you want. And you click on your next layer and shift click on your last layer. Now you can right click and go to Paste Layer Styles. And I'll paste it to every single layer you have selected. Then you can hide each of the effects to make your layers panel look t more tidy and easier to work with. And then we're going to group these. So you can click on the top and add a folder right here. And then you shift click all your letters and drag them into a group. I'm just going to name this original. And I'm going to make a copy of this folder. In case I ever mess up, I can just come back to this and not have to start all the way over. So right click and go to duplicate group. We can name this one flame. Click OK. And then we can minimize the original and hide it. And how we're going to do this effect is we're going to take flames and put them on top of each letter. And so we don't want the letters underneath the flames to be crisp. So we're simply going to smudge all the edges so that it looks better. And you can do this by going up to filter and going down to liquify. And that'll bring up a new window with your layer right there. And you can zoom in by pressing alt and scrolling. And you want your brush size to be 30, your brush density to be 50, and your brush pressure to be 100. And make sure you have the forward warp. And make sure you have the forward warp tool. And then you can just press out or in however you want the letters to be. You can make it go as crazy as you want. And just distort the letter as much as possible or whatever you think looks the best. Alright, and whenever you're happy with it, you press OK and simply do this to the other layers. Once you finish the liquify tool, then all your letters are distorted, and you just have to play around with it until you get something that you like. I think this is kind of cool, but it'll look even cooler whenever the flames are on top. And the first thing we're going to want to do is mask off the top a little bit so that it fades away at the top. And you can do this by selecting the whole group, and I can minimize this. And then come down here and select the mask the create a mask button click on that and now anything that you paint on black will hide the stuff underneath and anything white will make it appear so you can grab your paintbrush tool and it doesn't matter what size it is but you want the hardness to be down pretty low I'm gonna put mine at like 26 and you can press the open and close bracket keys to resize your brush tool and just click and hold shift and come across the top and get as much as you want uh, I think I want more of a feathered effect so I'm just gonna come over a little bit lower and then switch my colors around and bring back a tiny bit maybe I brought back too much
I think that looks good. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, adding fire. I already have the fire I'm going to be using copied to my clipboard. So I'm just going to open a new document, click OK, and click on Edit and Paste. This is what the fire looks like. I want to grab my Move tool, and down here in your Layers panel, go to Channels. And then here are all the different colors used in this fire. So come down here in your Layers panel and go to Channels up here at the top. And then hold Control and click on the little icon for green. And that'll select all the green in this image. And you can drag it up to your window that you just made. And then drag it back down. So now you have your fire added to your image. Now that you have the fire inside your document, you can reposition over the first letter. You can press Control T to free transform it and put it at any angle or size that you want. Um, I think I might ha keep it like that. And you can just mask out all the parts of the flames that you don't want. And you can do that by just going down to this create a mask icon again, like we did for the flame. Like we did for our folder. And then grab your brush, grab your brush tool again. And then just paint around it. And depending on what you like, you can have more fire coming off the top or the sides. It really doesn't matter. I'm actually going to bring the size of my brush down and zoom in. So yeah, it really depends on what you think looks best, but you can just mask it out how you like. Now I'm going to name this F, and then just do the same thing for all the other letters. Come over here and just drag it up and down, and position it over the L, and then mask it out again. I'm going to move it to different angles, and move it to different angles just so that no two look alike. Once you have flames on each letter and you mask them how you like it, congratulations, you just made realistic looking fiery text. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and a favorite and subscribe for more. Oh yeah, and hit the share button so all your friends can see this too.